Good morning guys. For Vlogmas day two, we are starting the day off a little late today. I could barely get up this morning. I took so long to edit the vlog last night and I still didn't finish. So I ended up just kind of like going to bed at like 2.30, 3 o'clock. And then this morning I could barely get out of bed. I looked at Hina, I'm like, listen, you got Laith on your own today. So she got him dressed and got him ready for school. It is 11 o'clock, but I didn't just wake up. So I got up around 8.30, which is a lot later than I usually get up. I usually get up like anywhere between 6.30 and 7. And um, I edited today's vlog and I got finished. I finished it up around 10 o'clock. So it's scheduled to go live at noon. So we're just in my bathroom and I'm just gonna like get myself together, wash my face, brush my teeth. I'm also really hungry. So if you hear my stomach grumble at any point during this video, that is probably why. So let's just get ready for the day and we'll see how it goes. Usually when I wake up in the morning, I do what most people who own toothbrushes do, which is I brush my teeth and I use a Philips Sonicare. Um, this one's really cool. Oh, this one's really cool because it comes with an app and um, you can like track how well you're brushing your teeth, but also has like several options like clean, white, gum health, deep clean, and all that stuff. And the battery lasts forever, which is ridiculous. And Hina actually got this for me as a gift. I'm gonna go ahead and wash my face and I use the Pharmacy Clean Bee. Um, this one I've just kind of been using and using it. It's a very good kind of basic face wash, nothing exciting to it. It's just a good cleanser. Make sure you turn off the water if you're not using it. Don't leave it running. <laughs> It took years for me to break out of that habit of leaving the water running. Um, but now I don't do it anymore and I'm trying to teach Lace not to do it. So years ago, my acne was so bad, I actually had to take Accutane for it. And it got significantly better, but I got left with all of these acne scars. And to top it off, I have this bad habit of picking my face. So I get breakouts on my cheek area like right here so it actually makes it worse so i think what's going to end up happening is once this pandemic is over i'm going to book a consultation with a dermatologist i need to get rid of all of this scarring and um, hyperpigmentation and discoloration and i break out a lot on my cheek area do you see that there um, next up i use my rose blossom this is the Rose and Neroli uh, Floral Beauty Water. So this one is actually from my own company, Ellen Main. And so I make these and I sell these. Basically a shameless plug for my, my company. Witch Hazel and Rose Water. And that's pretty much all that there is to it. I go in with the Tata Harper um, Resurfacing Serum. And I think this has AHA. I'm not entirely sure. Not all of Tata Harper's products work for my skin. Like the cleanser does not work for my skin. It actually makes my breakouts worse. I've realized through trial and error that I had to stop using it because it just wasn't doing much for me. The next thing I apply like my moisturizer and my sunscreen. Sometimes I mix them together and apply them to my skin. Sometimes I add my moisturizer first and then my sunscreen and that's pretty much what I do. So today I'm gonna do my moisturizer first and then sunscreen. I love the fresh moisturizers and this one is the Deep Rose Hydration Face Cream and this is chock full of hyaluronic acid which apparently is a huge thing now. So I'm just going to apply that, plus I love the smell of it. I love the smell of roses. And then now for sunscreen, I use the Super Goop Play Jouer um, sunscreen, which is an everyday lotion with SPF 50. I've always loved the smell of sunscreen. It reminds me of beaches and sand and pina coladas by the pool. Next, I'm going to put a lip mask on and I also use this as lip balm because my lips get super dry so I just use a mask anyways so skincare routine is done I'm really liking how my skin is looking today I'm gonna let that sit all right so did a quick little zhuzh of the face just to kind of look a little bit more put together um, 
and then I uh, did just a little bit of color on the lips. I used the Fenty Beauty, uh, what is this, the Stunna Lip Paint. I used the red one called Uncensored and then I just did like a touch of it with a little bit of lip gloss and then I mixed it together, put it on my lips, wipe it off to give it like a little bit of a stained look. So now I'm gonna just kind of zhuzh my hair, which it looks pretty good already. I'm just gonna spray it with water and then tussle it a little bit. I'm gonna go get changed and then I will catch you back maybe downstairs <laughs> in a few minutes. I'm all dressed and clean and I think I'm gonna go downstairs, have a second cup of coffee and then I'm gonna have some lunch because I didn't have breakfast this morning. So I'm gonna go do that. Vlogmas day one is officially live on YouTube and I'm very excited. I really hope you guys like it because yesterday was kind of like a bit of a, I don't know, it felt like a boring day, but we also have to manage our expectations and I need to manage my expectations as what well with what I'm expecting from Vlogmas this year especially considering we can't do a lot of things that we would usually do uh, in previous Vlogmas videos. So yeah, I'm gonna go downstairs and get something in my belly. Nothing planned for today, nothing exciting. I'm probably gonna obsess over my tree because I'm not loving it, but we will see how it goes. I, I don't know. I am really, really, really trying to love this tree, but there's something about it that is just not doing it for me and I think I know why. I have a bee garland on the tree, but you can barely see it because it wasn't, it's not very long. And so I just kind of like wrapped it around the tree and kind of wide apart so you can't really see it. So really all you can see are ornaments and there's not that many ornaments. So now I'm thinking, do I have my ornaments throw up on the tree or do I just kind of get things like ribbon or something to wrap around it to make it look a little bit more je ne sais quoi. Like I don't know how to say it. It just, I'm not a hundred percent into it. There's beauty and imperfection, but this just looks kind of unfinished to me. And I'm really, really, really trying to love it. And, I, and now I feel like I'm probably gonna be zhuzhing over it until I figure out what the issue is. In the daytime, it looks stunning. It looks beautiful in the daytime. Um, and with the light hitting it and everything, it looks really good. I just feel like it's just, it's missing things. I feel like it's missing some ornaments. I feel like I need to add more ornaments. I feel like I need to add more bead garland, more lights, more something. It just needs more. It just needs more. All right, so I was discussing this tree with Hina and we've determined that this tree needs a couple of things. So one, it needs more ornaments. I didn't use all of them, so I have like a good 30, 30 or 40 ornaments I can still use. We're gonna get rid of this bead garland and then we're gonna replace it with ribbon. Um, but here's my thing though, I don't wanna do a ribbon wrap around the tree because if I do a ribbon wrap around the tree, it's, it's the ornaments are gonna get in the way. So it's either I take the ornaments down and do the ribbon wrap or I get like a box of pre-wrapped bows and hang the bows on the tree. Do you get what I'm saying? Well, I mean, so it's missing candy canes. It's missing love, Danny. It's missing love. You don't think I put love into this tree? No. Why not? <laughs> You're not helping me. You weren't helping me. Have you seen the vlog? I have a snippet of you sleeping on the couch. I swear to God, that is a look of hatred. <laughs> Where are you going? Why are you putting socks on? My feet are cold. <laughs> I'm probably just going to start over. I think I'm probably going to start over, which means that all of these ornaments need to come down and I'm going to start from scratch by redecorating the tree. Oh! No. Yes, it is not ideal. It's what needs to be done to get this tree where it needs to go. Other otherwise, the alternative is not not like garland but just bows like bow ornaments i think if we do bow ornaments it would look good too because the bows can fill in all of the empty spots how about you just put presents underneath it okay let's do this let's take off the garland let's add more light and add more ornaments and then we'll see if we need bows we'll see if we need bows and then we'll go from there right babe love 
went ahead and just switched back to my small uh, tripod. I will say that I did have a different feeling decorating the tree this year than I usually do. I don't know if that's the reason why, but I'm really hoping to just kind of bring it back. I really want to. <laughs> I just thought I would do a simple kind of outfit put together situation, but these are just these kind of Palazzo pants that I got from H&M. Technically, they're supposed to like flow past your ankle, but I pull them up to my waist so that I can get like a high-waisted situation going on. And then I'm wearing my Zara cashmere jumper, um, and then I just kind of tucked it into the pants to just kind of give it a bit more form-fitting look. I don't know, we'll see. I don't know, it's cozy. I was just going for cozy today, and then I finally popped out the scuffettes. So I'm wearing these guys today and I thought that they would look really cute with my little lounge wear outfit. Since I didn't have breakfast, I'm having lunch. This is from Live Fit. This is the Cajun Shrimp Jambalaya with creamed cabbage. And I have my 64 ounce water bottle from Iron Flask. I got this on Amazon. It's really amazing because it contains your entire daily intake of water, which is 64 ounces, which is equivalent to eight cups of water. So I'm gonna eat this and then I'm gonna make another cup of coffee because Hina finished it all. And then um, we're gonna, I think after that, yep, it's time for my class in like 15, 20 minutes. So I'm gonna eat really quickly, have coffee, and then get on my class. Nina wants me to rent the store with her. Probably not gonna get out of the car. She probably just needs like company in the car. So I'm gonna go with her. But I need to be careful because there's ice here and I'm wearing the wrong shoes for this. She has to move, I can't get in the car. So we are back home. I don't know what you, so this is what happened in the car. Fully intended to vlog in the car, but then I got a pretty um, important phone call. So I was taking that call and then by the, honestly, by the time I was done the call, Hina had to take a call um, for a meeting. And then at that point we had already grabbed the lathe and we were already pretty much home. So that is why that car vlog just didn't turn out <laughs> um, like it should have. Put on a pot of coffee. Mm. Were you crying? Yeah. Why? Yeah. I'm building a house. You're building a house? Yeah. So I to make a tunnel. I try to open it. You need some help? No. So handsome. Yeah. Kids can turn literally anything into a toy. Remember the time when we got that big old box and you played with it for my movie? I will say that adding more ornaments is definitely making a difference in how the tree looks. Not entirely sure if it needs more light yet. I'm just gonna fill it up with the rest of the ornaments that I have and then I think it should be okay to be honest with you. So let's see that and see how it works. I got my mouth. Take a bite. I'm gonna, I'm just gonna I don't, I don't like chicken. It's not chicken. Again. Deka? Ko deka bacha. Stop saying that. Yeah, tell her again, Lee. Hey. What's Lee having for dinner today? Um, beef with roti. Beef with roti. Come, open up. Big bite, big bite, big bite. Ah, ah, ah. You should call the kima parata. <gasps> kima parata. Oh my God, I want to eat it. It looks so good. <laughs> Dinner tonight is the garlic butter salmon with um, broccoli and I've had this previously and it tastes pretty good so I'm actually really looking forward to they cook the salmon really well. I think it looks pretty good now. Um, with the lights and everything, I think it looks really good. I also added some more ornaments to the top of the tree but it's definitely 
looking a lot better. This can take like a bigger ornament but closer to the branch and I think that will look really good. Place is a bit of a mess. Don't do that to the table, sweetie pie. I did a poll on my Instagram today to find out when you guys. Thank you. I did a poll on my Instagram today to find out when you guys would want uh, the videos uploaded. So I've been uploading them at noon, but it seems like most of you prefer to have them like after work, so like 4 30, 5 o'clock. So I will be uploading videos at 5 o'clock going forward, so you won't see this video till a little bit later on um, in the day. Leith is gonna head off to bed, and I have to clean up this living room, which makes it super fun because I get to do a time lapse. I love doing those now. I also need to water the tree, and I need to give it tree food and all of this fun stuff. Let's go upstairs, sweetie, come on. Costume. It's time for bed. Come give mama a hug and kissy, but time for bed. Why are you buttoning up? Cover me! It's cold. <laughs> <laughs> they come, they make a mess, they leave, and so now I need to clean up. for the most part clean um, it's been a bit of a pain watering and sweeping up this tree every day but I'm at the place where I really truly like it and I think it looks really nice this is a tree food that I use for my tree it's a miracle grow and I've been using this for years and years um, it's supposed to prevent needle drop I'm still having needle drop you're gonna have needle drop but it reduces it significantly. And to be quite honest with you, I was expecting a lot more needle drop for this tree. So I'm really happy with this. And we've been using it, like I said, for about five years now. It's about $10 for the bottle and it should last you the month. I'm watching Lydia's Vlogmas. That's pretty much all that's going on. I think I'm going to work down here tonight. I will uh, start with the vlog tomorrow, but I'm gonna end the vlog here. Thank you guys so much for watching I really hope you enjoyed today's video. I know it was very uneventful. Thank you all so much for sticking around Thank you for the love on my vlogmas videos Thank you for sharing on Instagram and telling your friends and all of that stuff. I really truly 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 appreciate it You guys are just Absolutely amazing. So thank you and I will see you tomorrow for vlogmas day three